The tumultuous journey of Ford, one of America's iconic automobile manufacturers, has taken yet another unexpected turn. Recent developments suggest that the company is teetering on the brink of bankruptcy, a shocking turn of events, especially when considering the company's storied past. As we look back, it becomes evident that Ford's current predicament can be attributed to its ambitious yet seemingly flawed shift to electric vehicles under the leadership of CEO Jim Farley. When Farley took the helm in October 2020, the automotive world was already undergoing a profound transformation. Electrification was no longer a fringe movement. It was rapidly becoming the industry standard. Visionaries like Elon Musk with Tesla had demonstrated the immense potential of electric vehicles, reshaping the market and setting new benchmarks for automotive innovation. Traditional giants such as Volkswagen, General Motors, and even luxury manufacturers like BMW and Mercedes-Benz were pivoting with significant investments in EVs. The race to dominate the EV market had truly begun. It was against this backdrop that Farley decided Ford should not just join the fray but strive to lead it. The promise was enticing. Ford, with its legacy and resources, aiming to redefine modern mobility. The Mustang Mach-E, launched as a direct competitor to Tesla's Model Y, was the company's bold step into this brave new world. Ford claimed it embodied the spirit of the Mustang, but powered solely by electricity. However, while the Mach-E garnered interest initially, it couldn't quite capture the market's imagination in the way Tesla's vehicles had. As competitors unveiled their electric offerings, the challenges for Ford grew manifold. Volkswagen's ID. Four, with its perfect blend of affordability, range, and branding, found many takers in Europe and North America. Meanwhile, Chevrolet's Bolt EV, although plagued by its initial battery issues, managed to carve out a niche for itself due to its affordability and practicality. Then there were the luxury brands, upping the ante. Lucid Motors, with its air sedan, showcased what the high-end segment of the electric vehicle market could offer in terms of range and luxury. Mercedes-Benz's EQS further established that traditional luxury car makers could transition smoothly into the EV segment, offering opulence without compromising on range or performance. Amidst this fierce competition, Ford's offerings began to seem lukewarm. The company's EV strategy was not only about introducing new electric models, but also about electrifying existing popular models, like the F-150 Lightning. While the idea seemed sound on paper, the execution was riddled with problems. Production issues, battery supply chain challenges, and a lack of cohesive marketing strategies meant that Ford's electric F-150 F-150, though highly anticipated, failed to dominate the market segment. It's worth noting that transitioning from internal combustion engines to EVs is no small feat. It requires substantial overhauls in terms of infrastructure, supply chains, and even corporate mindset. Perhaps what exacerbated Ford's troubles was its late entry into the game. By the time Farley was pushing for electric, companies like Tesla had already established a robust supply chain, benefiting from years of trial and error. Tesla's gigafactories were a testament to its commitment and foresight, ensuring that battery production, the heart of any EV, would meet their car's demands. Ford's international operations, too, seemed to flounder. In markets like China, where local players like NIO, Xpeng, and BYD were surging ahead with innovative models and competitive pricing, Ford's presence was diminishing. The company seemed to be losing the plot not just domestically, but on a global scale. The financial strain of these challenges began to show. Investments in EV research, infrastructure, and marketing were monumental, and with dwindling sales and rising debts, Ford's balance sheets painted a grim picture. Investors began to lose confidence, with stock prices plummeting, reflecting the market's skepticism about Ford's EV vision. Analysts believe that while the shift to EVs was inevitable and even necessary, Ford's strategy lacked clarity. Diversifying the EV lineup without ensuring each model's success, entering markets without robust groundwork, and underestimating the competition proved detrimental. The story of Ford's struggle is is emblematic of a broader industry shift. As automakers grapple with the balance between tradition and innovation, they find themselves at a crossroads. To continue with business as usual, with the conventional combustion engines, would be akin to clinging to a fading past. Yet blindly rushing into the future, without a clear and sustainable strategy, can lead to calamitous missteps, as evidenced by Ford's precarious position. Many have pondered, how did a company with the resources and legacy of Ford misjudge the EV market so significantly? Some are argue that the company's deep-rooted heritage, paradoxically, became its Achilles heel. A century-old legacy can sometimes bring with it an institutional inertia, making swift pivots difficult. This is not to say that age-old companies cannot innovate. On the contrary, companies like Porsche with its Taycan have shown that
that it's possible to merge tradition with groundbreaking change effectively. Another crucial aspect that seems to have been overlooked by Ford's management was the changing consumer sentiment. The modern consumer doesn't just buy a car for its functionality. A vehicle is now an extension of one's lifestyle, values, and aspirations. Tesla capitalized on this, making its brand synonymous with a sustainable, tech-forward future. Buying a Tesla wasn't just about buying an EV, it was about being a part of a revolution. In comparison, Ford's messaging seemed lackluster, failing to resonate deeply with a new generation of consumers. Then there's the challenge of infrastructure. While many competitors were busy establishing robust charging networks or partnering with existing ones, Ford seemed somewhat behind the curve. The absence of a widespread, accessible, and efficient charging infrastructure can be a significant deterrent for potential EV buyers. Reliability is crucial, and herein, Ford seemed to have missed a beat. However, despite the odds, one cannot dismiss Ford's inherent strengths. Their brand, albeit slightly tarnished now, still resonates with many. The Mustang and the F-Series aren't just vehicles, they are cultural icons. Harnessing this emotional connection could be Ford's way back into the game. In addition, Ford's global footprint and established manufacturing capabilities, if realigned, can be leveraged for a more aggressive comeback. Strategic partnerships, either with emerging EV tech companies or with established giants, could also be an avenue to explore. For instance, the collaboration between General Motors and LG Chem serves as a model of how synergies can be created to tackle the EV challenge. When reflecting on Ford's history, it's essential to remember that it's a company built on resilience and innovation. From its Model T, which democratized transportation in the early 20th century, to its role in mobilizing the war effort during World War II, Ford has repeatedly demonstrated its ability to adapt and thrive. Given this legacy, the possibility of Ford rebounding from its current troubles is more a question of how rather than if. Central to Ford's potential turnaround is its reconnection with its customer base. The contemporary car buyer is vastly different from those of even a decade ago. Increasingly concerned about environmental issues driven by technology and looking for holistic mobility solutions, today's consumers need a narrative that speaks to these sensibilities. Tesla, with its mission of accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy, energy crafted a story that resonated. Ford, with its rich history and commitment to mobility, can similarly craft a narrative that is both authentic and compelling. Another crucial aspect that Ford can leverage is its vast dealership network. One of Tesla's challenges has been the establishment and maintenance of a global sales and service network. Ford, with its already extensive network, has a unique advantage. These dealerships, if equipped and trained properly, can become hubs for EV education, test drives, and after-sales service, making the EV adoption process smoother for potential buyers. Beyond sales and marketing, Ford also needs to delve deep into the technological aspects of their EVs. Battery technology, software integration, autonomous driving capabilities, and over-the-air updates are areas where competitors, especially Tesla, have taken the lead. Strategic acquisitions or partnerships in these areas can help Ford close the gap more quickly. Already, the world has seen intriguing collaborations such as the one between tech giant Apple and automaker Kia. Such symbiotic relationships where tech and tradition merge could be the way forward for Ford. On the global front, emerging markets present both a challenge and an opportunity. Countries like India, where the EV market is still in its nascent stages, offer massive growth potential. Collaborations with local players, understanding the unique mobility needs of such markets, and offering tailor-made solutions can be a golden ticket for Ford's global resurgence. In conclusion, Ford's journey to reclaim its position in the automotive pantheon will undoubtedly be challenging. It requires a symphony of right decisions, timely execution, and a bit of luck. Yet, with its deep-rooted legacy, global reach, and intrinsic strengths, the odds might not be as steep as they seem. Thank you for sticking with me all the way to the end. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure the notification bell is turned on so you don't miss a video.